a Dear Media original podcast. Hi, welcome to Good Instincts. I'm Shira Barlow, but you may know me as the food therapist. Join me every Monday through Friday for bite-sized episodes designed to help you close the gap between where you are right now and where you want to go. This should feel good, like really good. And it will, I promise. Based on my experience talking to people about food, I feel like meal prep is something that really intimidates people. I completely get why, but I don't think it has to be scary. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. I feel really strongly that we're just positioning it wrong. We're thinking about it in terms of meal prep when we should be thinking about it in terms of meal assembly. There's this story about a chef that I read in a magazine years ago that still really sticks with me. It was a what's in her fridge. And she was like this cool up and coming chef. And she worked all day in a restaurant. She talked about how the very last thing she wanted to do when she got home was cook and clean, but she also didn't want to like eat ramen for dinner. And so what she did was she prepped a bunch of things ahead of time like she would in the restaurant. She washed and chopped and diced and parboiled and poached. And she had these veggies and proteins ready to go alongside really easy, complex carbs like sweet potatoes and rice. Then she could assemble a non mad meal. And I really do think that that's the goal, that we have things on hand that can be assembled really easy and really painlessly, but that feel special. Because that's the thing. I think people really do worry that with meal prep, they're getting this boring, sad broccoli and chicken, and it really doesn't have to be that. For me, this really means having a great dressing, and this really can take the same amount of effort as a smoothie. I also am obsessed with having poached chicken on hand. I do this in my Instant Pot. I salt the chicken. I use chicken thighs and I cover it with water. I pressure cook for 10 minutes and do natural release. And I've talked about this before, but it bears repeating because it really is the backbone of my entire kitchen. You can shred that up and then you can use it in salads and soups and tacos and frittatas and stuff for kids. I like to also crisp it up on the stovetop with olive oil. I'll also put some cumin and some paprika on there and eat with tahini and cucumbers and tomatoes. It's honestly like a really special dish that doesn't seem like it was thrown together in an assembly type of way. But having all those things together really sets up my week in a really nice way. The other thing I want to say is that let's not think about it as prepping for the whole week. Maybe we're just prepping for the next two days. I also feel like let's not be afraid to freeze things. Stuff like soup freezes really well, and it can be really nice to do that in like individual serving sizes. The other really big thing here is working smarter, not harder. If your kitchen is already dirty and you have cutting boards out, why not prep more servings? So if you're prepping just a little bit of food, why not make four servings and freeze some for later? I also think that while we don't want to have like a sad chicken and broccoli situation, we also don't want to make it so ambitious and complicated that we're not going to follow through again on it. And I hear that a lot with clients and friends. They go so decadent with it and there are so many steps and there are so many ingredients that it tastes really amazing and special for one week, but they're not going to follow through. And that's the thing. The better this feels and the easier this is, the more likely we are to keep going and the more likely we are to be setting ourselves up in the future to have things on hand to assemble a really nice meal that we feel really good about. I'm honestly really curious to hear what you like to prep. Let me know in the DMs on Instagram at Shira underscore RD. I read everything. And I think it's really interesting to share all this information because it gives us ideas so we're not getting in food ruts. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about supplements for kids and if they really need them. I will see you there. Thank you so much for listening to Good Instincts, hosted and written by me, Shira Barlow. You can find me on Instagram at Shira underscore RD. Good Instincts is a Dear Media Daily, 